Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. Uh, so today we are going to solve this numerical on BZT. So this is basically you can see this is basically a common emitter configuration, right? So here we have to find the value of IV. We have to find the value of IC and we have to find the value of VCC vce and we have to find the value of vcv okay so you have all you already know the value of beta which is which is basically nothing but it is current gain right so let us so quickly solve this numerical right so let us first find the value of iv so you can see here let us say you are going to do the KVL analysis on this loop okay so let us say the current flowing through this loop is IV okay so now this current you have to find right IV so let us apply the KVL on this loop this is let's say loop number first so if you apply the KVL on this loop so uh, let us write the equation VVB right minus iv into rv minus v b e equals to 0 and you already know the value of v b e okay it's a 0 point 0 point 0.7 volt so now you have to find the value of iv here so let us directly write equation for iv iv equals to right v b b minus v b right divide by r b okay so you have the value of b b b which is 5 volt minus 0 0.7 volt and divide by 10k and if you solve this you will find the value of i v equals to 430 micro ampere so let me write the value of iv here right so let me use other color to write the value of iv so the value of iv equals to 430 micro ampere okay micro ampere so let me it is this expression now you got the value of iv right right so now let us find the value of let us find the value of ic so how will you find the value of ic it's very simple right so to find the value of ic you may use different color so so you know ic equals to there is a straightforward equation ic equals to beta times of iv right beta times of iv and since you know the value of beta which is 150 and the value of iv which is 430 micro ampere now you can directly calculate the value of ic which is given by 64.5 milli ampere right so let me write the value of ib let me write the value of ic so this is ic equals to 64.5 milli ampere okay now you have the value of ib and you have the value of ic right so you have the value of ib and you have the value of ic now let us find the another value here okay so uh, so this is a loop number this was loop number one now let us apply kvl in loop number two so this is loop number two let us say current flowing through this loop is ic which we have already found found so this is ic so 
this is loop number two so you may apply the loop number a kvl on loop number two so let us apply the kvl so this is vcc minus ic times rc right minus vc collector to emitter voltage equals to zero now you have to find the value of vc you can directly write the expression for vc equals to vcc minus ic times rc okay and since you know the value of vcc vcc equals to 10 volt right and ic equals to 64.5 milliampere and you have to multiply the resistance value which is under ohm right so you can easily find the value of the value of vc which is which is 3.355 volt so this is 3.55 volt so you may write here the value of vc equals to 3.55 volt okay let us find the value of vcb so vcb equals to vcc minus v v e so you know the value of vcc which is 3.55 and you know the value of vb is 0.7 volt and if you solve this you can easily find the value of vcb which is 2.85 volt so you can write here the value of vcb is 2.85 volt okay so so hope you understood how will you find how will you calculate the value of ib how will you calculate the value of ic how will you calculate the value of vcc and how will you calculate the value of vcb okay if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video